this huge cost. Well, just like the 40 men I filmed before him, it wasn't difficult. I didn't have to do anything in particular apart from be friendly and treat him like a human being and treat him with respect. I didn't have to lie about my purpose. I was able to say, tell me how you killed the communists in your neighborhood. Tell me how you killed the communists in your area. Tell me how you exterminated the communists in this such and such village in Kampukola, for example. And it was as though words that would us to have genocidal connotations, exterminate, had heroic connotations in this context. So you see in the state television talk shows, regional state television, they talk about more humane ways of exterminating communists, as though that's a, that's a celebratory, a, a heroic thing. And so what I, bearing in mind that after filming 41 of these men, I was trying to understand how they see themselves, how they want to be seen by the world, and how ultimately these, they see themselves. And increasingly, the second question became important because as I, at the beginning of the journey, I felt as though I was looking for people who, people who had, the people who'd done this to my friends in this community, the people who killed my friends, relatives, and loved ones. And so I went looking for evil, in a way. And I think I also, of course, I have to admit, I was also fascinated by evil, and I think that's something that implicates me as a filmmaker, and I suppose implicates all of us as film viewers. But I was looking for this kind of incarnation of evil, and what I found were ordinary human beings. And so this question of how did they see themselves became more and more formal. I just will say one more thing. Um, so what I told um, what I told them was fairly straightforward. It was, look, you've participated in one of the biggest killings in human history. Your whole society is built on it. It was of world historical importance in terms of the Cold War. And you, your lives have been shaped by this. I want to understand what it means to you. You're eager to show me how you did it. Let's, you're taking me to the places after you reenact what you did. You're lamenting not having brought uh, machetes along as props or friends along as to play extras or victims. Make, make it the way you want to, make scenes about what you've done in any way you wish. I will film the process and together, and we'll put all of it together to make a new form of documentary, a kind of documentary of the imagination that has precedent to be sure in uh, the work of Jean Rouge, for example, but it is a new form of documentary in some way, I think, a, doc yeah, a documentary of the imagination instead of a documentary of everyday occurrence. So, uh, 